Hello everyone, BSP here. Hope you're doing great today. Today we're back and I've done some mining with copper and got some sphalerite and got a little bit of bismuth, not a lot. Let me show you. Got um, got 1300 copper. 256 bismuth. This is broken down into little nuggets. Got 615 of the sphalerite and 92 cassiterite left. I've got. I think, it takes 900. I think I've got 1200 units of. Yeah, 1200, 1300 units of 10 bronze here. So let's pour this up. Alright, here goes the anvil. And then we'll do a hammer and pick and prospector's pick and then I guess the last one will be an axe. Alright, hammer. Pick. Prospecting pick. And one more. Alright, there we go. Once we get that pick ready, we can go after that um this hailing looks like it. It's hard to tell. See little things bouncing on the ground. Let's see, put this down, put this down. This wood up. I got some. I gotta pour some more copper up because I've got the head and the legs made for the copper lamlar. So I need. I've got two. I need nine plus six, so fifteen. So I need to do a run of these and then do one more. We'll be one short. But I can always make one with the anvil. Let's see. To make 10, I need a thousand units, which is. Let me see how much. Well, this is the wrong one anyway. Five units per, so I need 200 units. So, 40, no, that's not right, 20 pieces makes one bar, and I need 10, so 200, so, so 200 pieces, 28, 28, that should be enough for 10. some coal in there. Alright. Hopefully it's still hot enough to catch. Yep. It's hot enough to catch. And while we're doing that, we're going to be one short. So let's make a Lamb lane. Oh, what are you doing? Let's go ahead and I need some coal for this. Need to fill the hole back up again. Okay. Drop you on there. Alright. Where are we at? We 
if you're warming up yet. So it'll be a little bit. And I believe you can forage Lamley, so Lomley or whatever it's called. I looked it up one time and did a sound bite of it, and I think it was Lamley. But yeah, once the things cool down, we'll go after that iron. And see what we can do there. Because we got a hematite. I mean, look. We have decent hematite here. Got. We got somewhere else that had decent. Got sphalerite here. Hematite pour. Magnetite pour. So we got two kinds, there's two sources of iron. We pour magnetite there. Pour there. So we're going to go over here and go down. Alright, we're ready. Our scales. Looks like we can't make Lamley. I thought we could. Okay. I guess we'll just do a plate. Take two bars for a plate. Just let this out, and I'll have to add another one to it later. That was a mess up on my part. I was thinking you could do, well, I could have done a chest too, but I thought about making a lantern. Well, it's still hot, so I can just drop you, pick up another bar, and not waste this coal. How are you doing? Almost. Wait, 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 wait. What am I thinking? I'll just go ahead and make a plate. I set the other hiding it on top of here. I'm losing my mind. I got the other and get there, so hopefully it'll warm up in time. And we'll just do a plate and make us a. We've got tons of quartz around here. We can make us a lantern when we ever, whenever we find a candle. I gotta do some hunting for some bony soil because I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna find any bees up here. Come on. You're at 1040. So you're plenty hot. Just gotta get this one up. How are you doing? You should be ready by the time I get done. Okay. You're good. Flatten you out. Ooh, that ain't good. Pieces are disappearing. I'll get this done. Hopefully, we can get some, what do you call it, flax and start automating this and make it a lot faster instead of having to do these plates by hand 
whenever we want to upgrade to newer armor. So we'll need a ton of plates for that. Gotta have a chain too. Should have a mouth. We're getting there. Hopefully, that stuff won't be cooled off by sitting back in there. done. Oh, that ain't good. It jumped over on me. Okay, we got four pieces we gotta fill. in here we're fixing to be done and this over here and these two and there now we cut out what we don't need yep we got a plate and now we can take this and pour you up and our tools should be cool by now. We'll be one short of making the chest. So we'll have to do a little a little 100 thing. It should take a couple minutes or a couple seconds to heat up. Hammer, copper can go on the thing. Need a funny stick. And let's carry a box with this for the rocks and stuff. Carry a few, we'll drop some over there by the um, trees. We're going to cut down some trees at some point. And we need ladders. 42 should be enough. Got 10 torches. Now, y'all weren't here for it. When I was working off camera, um, I get fed. I was going back, coming out from mining, and I turned the corner and looked, and one of those freaking scorpion doodad spawns from hell killed me in one hit didn't even hear him All right, 
right, sorry about that. Had someone talking, so I had to mute my mic. Um, let's see. Got this. Got this. And let's go. Got eight food. That should be enough for a decent while. You see, we're headed here. Going down there, right as the on that hill. And we're going to drop a before these boxes off at the forest over here. And let's see, yeah, over here, this pine forest. We'll check the trees for a little copper thing there. We got tons of copper now, so we really don't need to worry about it. And we're gonna drop off some boxes here when we get this iron. We'll go through and chop all this down that any of it that's not a, what do you call it, um, sap producing tree. We'll cut down and here's where we're going. Right here. Let me see. Yeah, right here. That's where we're going. Brought an axe. Let me set my axe right here. And I didn't bring a prospector's pick so I won't find anything. Really. Wouldn't, I'd lose my head if it wouldn't attach to my body. Gone but the run back of shame. Let's go back and get a. We can use a copper one, so we don't need a bronze one. Don't even know why I made a bronze one. But while we're down there, we'll probably, if we find quartz, we'll try to pick up some clear quartz to make lanterns with. But we don't have the. Never mind, we don't have the stuff to grind on. Grind normal quartz with yet to make glass. It's supposed to be a fat, a better light from your lanterns if you use glass and not clear quartz. Okay, will you soft? Okay, and how much life do you have left? A lot. While I'm here, let's grab one of you and then grab, let's see, four for 15 days, 15 days, 11 hours. I have to eat this first. Yeah, I might need to bring some food just in case. You never know. Might be down there a while because iron veins are usually pretty big. So let's go. Hopefully we ain't forgot anything this time. We got ladders. Don't really need a shovel because there's no dirt or anything on the ground. We'll have armor at some point pretty soon. Then we gotta think about what weapon we wanna use. I've been using the sling, but up close and personal, sling is not gonna do anything. And especially in tunnels, all you're gonna do is end up hurting yourself. So we gotta figure out if you wanna go. One second. I'm back. Let's see. Let's go down. 
right here. Yeah, bronze is a lot faster. Imagine bismuth bronze. It's gonna be even faster than that. so I don't end up dropping off into a cave or something. Okay, there, there, let's check again. Bismanite, close by. I'm assuming we're going to go pretty deep for our iron. That's usually the case. And we'll have to go through the quartz layer. So we're coming up on a thing of business night. So we passed the bismuth, bismuth. Now we need to check and see how far we gotta go to get to the iron. Trace amounts. See what's this way. Hmm. 
None nearby. Let's do another. Nothing. Let's check this way. Nothing, so consider right. We need to consider right more. So we'll go this way and check out. So let's just find this considerate and then we'll go back to trying to get that. Oh, right there. Alright. We found it. Put a torch there. Torch there. Keep woolly boogers from spawning. Now how are we going to get past you? Let's see if there's a way we can get down. There's another... It's a pretty big cave. So let's go for some more. What do we got here? Made of copper. Another cave. Two caves right beside each other. Let's make some of these to block these off. So we don't have to worry about spiders or whatever they're called getting up here. and just go down there. Alright. Nothing so far. Is there anything here? Copper. So we've got copper and tin close to each other. Okay, we look good, so let's do a shot down. Not 
thing. Olivine. We are as deep as we can go this way. So. Olivine. So maybe it's on the other side of this olivine. We need it for making refractory bricks. Is it shallower than I thought? No ores nearby. Let's check our directions. Nothing. Nothing. Let's check above us. So let's just shoot over this way or close to the marker and see what it says. Under the marker now. Nothing. I think we went way too deep. Maybe we didn't go deep enough, I'm not sure. Let me see what happens when you go to negatives. Mantle. Yeah, that's the bottom of the world. So we went way too deep. Hopefully nothing spawned in here. Pretty please. With sugar on top. Nothing spawned in here. So we got olivine way down here, so that's good. And let's see if we got any friends up here. Looks like I think it's gonna be a booger to find. Right here. This is a. There's some saltpeter, I think. I think that's what it's called. We'll need that for explosives. Yeah. And we got a. Big, holy crap, that's a big deposit. 
I have to make a floor, lights, and everything because this stuff will respawn. So let's. Saltpeter, market yellow with X to save that because it's going to be a cave we got to fix. Let's see what we got. I don't know why it changes over. Nothing nearby. We found Salt Peter and Olivine and everything else except the hematite that's supposed to be here. Okay. Let's see if we can't. Yeah, this is just a. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. see what it's going to say here. Native copper, quartz medium, bismuths. So we're getting a lot of stuff here. There's the quartz. Quartz large. This myth. Let's go back up where we're hitting all those things at. Okay, this is the quartz layer. So let's hug the quartz layer. Another cave. Up high. Oh, what the? What in the world? Or did I fall? Let's get safe first. Ooh, that was crazy. Glad I brought some more food with me. Here, let's check what it is down here. Olivine Bismuth. Nothing nearby. Let's work our way back up. Cause this is just a no-go. I'll have to try a different area. And we'll check as we go. See if we come across any. But that's odd. Usually it's pretty easy to hit iron. of copper, huge amounts of quartz.
native copper quartz. There's copper, rich copper. See how much copper he is. Large. So we'll mark this. We'll come directly down on top of it. It's at 50. Working our way up. The medium copper here. Hematite, there it is, there it is. Hallelujah, we have found trace a small amount. And we lost it, so it's this way. Native copper. Medium amounts of hematite, so it's over in this area. Don't need the jeez, come on. Don't need copper right now. I'll try to go around this stuff. And I'll come back at a later date and get it. Don't have the backpack space or our backpack space at all to get it. Don't tell me. And drop shaft. Yeah, that's a death chamber there. There's the hematite right there. Yep. Here we go. rich that's really good one thing we got to do is find fire clay to be able to use this and I uh, yes I hear you in the shaft of death be a good source of flax so we need to get good weapons and armor to start harvesting them try to build something like a drifter farm or something by our base dig a really big flat area that has some little traps for them First stack of iron. Let's drop you. Let's pick up that. This is really good that we got a rich one. I remember on my first world I played I got a bountiful vein and it took forever to get it because I had settings on where you lost sanity being underground and you had to go up and down, up and down every minute or two. It took so long to get down to it. 
but I changed the settings this time where we can be underground a lot more. Not have to worry about sanity. Just gotta worry about the folks out here not liking us being here. 39. We're about burned halfway through this pick, so heats it up pretty quick. We had a uh, wild goose chase to find this stuff, but hey, we found it. It's all that counts. Doesn't matter how long it takes, as long as you succeed in the end, or you are happy with the result. Either or. As long as you are happy, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And oh, we got another stack full. We'll leave here with four stacks because we're gonna be able to drop that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Drop this down. And pick up all these rocks. I'm going to be gathering these rocks up because I can use them. We can use them when we get ready to start building. I'm going to need a lot of clay to make cobblestone and a lot of rocks so figured might as well start collecting it now our way out so I need to leave enough life on our thing to get out of here These veins are usually pretty massive. You got to come back to them multiple times, so we're gonna mark this as an iron mine. We can probably link this to the saltpeter deposit, also, make it a twofer. last chunk we can set you down by here Are weird. It's like chasing a wave. We're just making it where we can access it. Still rich. Gotta put you down. Two, three stacks. We can get five stacks. We leave a few stones behind. 
So that's what we'll do, but we gotta keep an eye on our pick so we can actually get out of here. I think I'm gonna stop at four just so we can get out of here. few more. Okay. Fifty seven, so we need six seven more. Okay. Three. Another crystallized one. This crystallized here. All right, we'll go out this way. And do the little rotation. I like the way you cut a Two by two tree in Minecraft. Just do a little loop de loop going all the way up. Holy crap, that is not good. Crap, 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 that is a cave. Okay, you can stay down here. I need something to plug that with. Plug that. Hopefully nothing's done jump down in here. Come on. There, there. Alright. We're plugged. We might have to walk the walls of the death cave to get up. Try this direction then. Just do a normal staircase. Hopefully, we don't get any more surprises. Just want to get out from the ground. for anything. Can't remember what surface level he is. Come on. This is confusing. It looks like we're going down, but we're actually going up. Oh, 
over there we go thank you have a fun ride all the way down I was worried there. We might not make it up. We hit a hill, that's why we were going so far. Let's mark you. Just put some fall on accident. Let's take one of these to put this iron in. When we break it up. So now our goal is number one, get armored up. Number, no, number one, don't fall down mysterious mine shafts in the middle of nowhere. And number two is get armored up and weaponed up. And number three is go on a long search to try to find fire clay so we can upgrade the iron. And in the process, kill a lot of drifters to get flax for number one, some bags finally. And number two, it'll be a lot, but to get enough to do a windmill, but that will be a lot of drifters killed to be able to get enough for that bags are more feasible but maybe we can come across a translocator and it might transport us to a hot bomb okay these are cold and let's drop this right here get us a hammer Got a lot. Alright, just put this olivine in there and drop that, drop that. And let's finish breaking these up. Getting six per, which is really nice. Oh, wrong key. And drop, drop, drop. And we're getting a good bit of iron. Break the rest of it. Alright, do and do and do. We got 1500 iron just from that little trip. So we're doing really good on iron. Now we need to get. Let's go ahead and get you picked up and get us let's see we got two there just 12 we need 13 I believe let me check 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 we need so it's 12 we need three more so three 60 pieces you deposit oh crap all key no no caps lock shift deposit all right let's go ahead and kind of have you and 
a little bit of coal to get started and I'll dig some up while it's going. units light you up and we'll at least get the armor made this episode could be oh I didn't I did not mean to hit the sleep key or to click on the bed to sleep Let's see what was I doing oh call need shovel right there try out our new shovel Charcoal. But yeah, we gotta worry about the fire clay first, and that's probably gonna be in warmer pounds. So we might need to focus on killing drifters to find a translocator. Just gotta figure out what um what weapon we want to use. Not real sure what's gonna be the best bet. We don't have any kind of bandages because we don't have the stuff to make them. Let's put some let's see. two pieces should be enough because it's not a lot. And let's fill up our charcoal thing. Good charcoal pit going on here. Alt won't make you jump. Okay, that's ready. Let me get the tongs. us a weapon. Got a hammer on me, so. And pick up some. That's take about five, I believe. Grab another one. Just in case it takes more than one ingot. I should have made a mold for a blade, but I didn't. So. And if I don't need to, I'll make a make some clips for chest, because we need some more chest anyway. And I hear storm it again. Just minus. Let's 
So whatever we do, we're taking negatives in. Hopefully those three lamellae will be cooled down and we can make our armor. Be ready for next episode. And we'll go on our big murder and adventure of har harvesting monsters for flax. What are you bumping into that's hot? Is he bumping the anvil? Okay, there. Three, one, two, three, six. I did the first time and make us some more thingamajigs. You know what thingamajigs are. Everybody knows what thingamajigs are. more double chest. Excess, excess, not access. Oh, really? All right, there we go. We got it fixed. set these in the thing to cool down 
Imagine that wouldn't work out real well in real life. I'd be set the chest on fire. Hardened. Okay, keep tongs on me so I can actually work with it because it's so hot. Rawhide, rawhide. Rawhide. What's it going to take for small one, two mediums, one large? I think I've got a large somewhere. Might be in here. Yeah, I've got a large right there. And I still got some stored over there at the trader, I think. Okay, need to do this. Dun, 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 dun. And then one, two, three. Why did I have so much extra? Was I miscounting something? Only need eleven. I had more than enough, I think. That's eight, not nine. And I was counting these double. But the smartest one in the shed. Let's see. Got our armor. So let's take a look at ourselves and helmet, armor, and boots. We look good now. Our first set of metallic armor. Let's test it out on that guy. See how much damage we take from a moose. Oh, we still take a decent amount of damage. You gotta be close. Got him. Still get hit pretty hard. Did that damage your arm or any? A little bit in the chest. A good bit in the chest. So we're gonna need better armor than this to go after bears and such. But it should protect us a little bit at least. See, I'm looking for a knife. Full stomach will make you heal better. Ah, oh, don't worry about that lost arm. Just eat some more. You'll be good. Wish it worked in real life. Just eat, and you'll be all right. All right. Well, that's it for today, folks. Going to I think there's really nothing I need to do off camera. Got that for repairing. Let's go ahead and repair that little damage. Get 
now we're still fully repaired and we can make 10 of those at a time with the things there so we can repair this anytime we need to and up it to bronze if we want but yeah that's it for today and I will see you next time take care goodbye